Hey everyone, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More and welcome to another one of my real estate videos. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how to flip houses with no money. Um, a lot of talk about that all over the place on the internet, on Facebook, on radio advertisements, television advertisements, how to get into flipping, make tons of money, don't invest any of your own money, you don't need credit, you don't need anything. And I'm going to talk about my thoughts on that concept, if you can really do that, if you can really flip with no money. And then some ideas on how to flip houses with less money, um, depending on your situation. So I, I have a number of resources on flipping if you're interested in more information on the basics, on the ins and outs of flipping houses. You can check out investformore.com. I've got about 500 articles on real estate investing, including, including a lot on flipping. A book on Amazon, Fix and Flip Your Way to Financial Freedom as well. And then I have um, some coaching programs too, if anybody's interested, very affordable, nothing like the thirty, forty thousand dollars programs you will try and be suckered into by some of these no money flipping um, gurus out there. So um, when you see these advertisements for flipping houses with no money, um, there's a number of different reasons why people say that, what they're trying to do. I see a lot of them on Facebook advertisements saying, you know, I flipped 2,000 houses in the last 10 years with no money. And they're not talking about flipping houses. They're talking about wholesaling. Completely different thing than flipping houses. Now, you can make money wholesaling, but just realize my definition of flipping a house is you buy it, you fix it up, you sell it. Wholesaling is more of you don't even buy the house sometimes. You get it under contract. You flip the contract to another investor without doing work any work on the house. Or you do a double close without doing any work in the house. Wholesaling is totally different. So make sure you understand um, if you're thinking about doing training or getting into some kind of business about flipping with no money, that if you want to flip houses, you're actually getting training on how to flip and not wholesaling. Um, something else to consider is that when these guys say you don't need money, you don't need credit, you don't need to work that hard, um, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Um, a lot of these programs you hear on the radio with a free two-day seminar about how to flip houses and how they'll teach you everything, um, it is a sales pitch. They teach you almost nothing there. Um, they use timeshare tactics. They have the room really cold. They say they'll feed you but don't feed you very much. They're trying to get you to buy into their three-day seminar. At the three-day seminar, they do the same thing. And they're trying to get you to buy into their $40,000 investing program. And I've talked to many, many people who've been through this and very few of them thought it was worth it. Very few of them actually flipped a house after it was done and they're extremely disappointed with the program. So be careful what you do. Um, you don't need to spend $40,000 to learn how to flip houses. Just go buy a house and learn how to flip with that 40,000 on your own. Um, so getting back to our point about flipping with no money. So it is almost impossible to actually flip a house with no money. Now you might be able to do it with some money, a little bit of money, but if you have no money, you've got bigger problems that you need to work on besides getting into real estate investing. Now I have people emailing me who don't have $8 or $10 or $15 to buy one of my books. Um, if you don't have enough money to buy a book, you need to work on other parts of your financial life besides trying to flip houses trying to find, come up with some miracle business that's going to save you and turn your life into something completely different than what it is now. Um, you need to have some kind of stability, be making some kind of money if you really want to get into the real estate world. It can take months before you do your first deal. You have to have some kind of money to live on. You can't hope that it's instantly going to save you. Um, if you need money that bad that you can't afford a $10 book, figure out how you can make money instantly. Um, getting a job, going to work for someone, um, listen to some Gary V videos on how to use eBay or garage sales or Craigslist to make money. Um, there's tons of ways to actually make money out there. And you need some kind of money before you can start investing in real estate. It'd be almost impossible if you have nothing. Now, if you've got a few hundred dollars, a few thousand dollars, that's a different story. You might be able to be successful in real estate, um, but you will need money no matter what you're doing. Even if you're wholesaling houses, you still need money. Um, wholesalers will try and find sellers, get them under contract, sell that contract, do a double close like I talked about. And I have a, a lot of different videos on wholesaling if you want to learn more about that business. 
Um, but if you're finding those sellers, you have to market to them. You have to drive for dollars, which means you need a car, you need gas money. Um, you might need money to skip trace, find those owners, send letters. Uh, if you're doing direct mailing, you might have to send out a thousand letters before you get one positive deal. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of postage. That's a lot of postcards or letters. You need money to do that. Um, if you're partnering with people, if you're networking with people, you still need some money. Um, you can't just go at it with nothing. So I don't like the term no money, even though I use that in my video title. Um, I wanted to get the point across that if you have no money, it's very hard to be successful in real estate. Almost everything in real estate needs a little bit of money to get going. And plus, it will take time to do your first deal to actually make money. So you have to have some money to live and survive during that time while you're waiting for your first deal to come through. All right, now if we're talking about actually flipping houses and trying to do it with no money there, it's really hard as well. Um, there's a lot of things to consider when you're flipping. You've got to buy the house. So um, I have private money investors who will fund 100% of the deal for me. But that's just 100% of the purchase price. And there's much more that goes into flipping a house than the purchase price. You'll have carrying costs. You'll have to pay for maintenance, um, utilities, sometimes property taxes, property insurance while you own the property. Most private money guys are not going to pay for all of that. You'll have to pay for repairs after you buy the property. You'll need money for that. So even if you have an awesome private money lender, you're probably still going to need more money. If you're brand new and doing your first deal, most people are going to want you to have your own money in the deal as well so they know you're serious. Um, if you have no money in a deal, it's much more likely that you will walk away if things go bad and not try to see it through. If you have your own money in it, you're much more likely to stick in the deal, try and make it work if things get tough. And that's why people prefer people to have skin in the game. Hard money lenders are lenders who will lend primarily to fix and flippers. A lot of times you'll hear they'll do 100% of the deal. Again, they almost never do 100% of the deal. Sometimes they'll do 100% of the purchase price and 100% of the repairs. Extremely rare. I know one local hard money lender that does it here and they charge like 17% interest and five points. It's outrageous and really hard to make any money with those terms. Um, but most hard money lenders are doing 90% of the purchase price or 80% of the purchase price and repairs. But again, that doesn't count your taxes, your utilities, your insurance, um, any closing costs you have to pay. So there's other costs that come into this besides just the purchase price and repairs. And that's why it's hard to flip houses with no money at all. Now there is one situation where you might be able to do it with no money. And that's in a partnership with another investor. So I know a few people who partner, so they find the deal. They a lot of times do the repairs themselves, help sell the property. They manage the whole thing. The other investor pays all the money and they split the profits 50-50. So the money person does no work. All they do is pay for everything. The other person does all the work and the two partners split it 50-50 is a very typical arrangement. Now the problem with this, again, is a lot of these guys have done deals before, they're experienced, they can show what they know what they're doing. So if you're brand new doing your first deal, it might be really hard to find this type of partner. They might want a bigger split, they might want you to put some skin in the game. It also can be hard finding those people who will lend to people they don't know who are brand new. So if you want some tips, if you, I mean, I'm not trying to be too discouraging to people, but just realize it's not easy. It's not as easy as many of these people make it sound like just jump in in the first week and have like 10 deals and um, off you go. But if you really want to work hard at this, you have to know how to flip houses inside and out. Um, if you want to attract private money, if you want to get a loan from a hard money lender, they're not just going to loan a new property. They want to make sure it's a good deal in case things go bad, they can get their money back out of it. And how are they going to know it's a good deal? They're not going to do all your work for you. They will want you to prove it to them. So you have to be able to show them, hey, this is what I'm buying the house for. This is what the house is going to be worth after I fix it up. This is what the repairs are going to cost. And you need to have some details on what is going to cost 
how much, you know, the kitchen, the bath, the electrical, the roof, the flooring, all that stuff. You should have details on what it's going to cost, not just like, oh, it's probably 20000 You know, it's a roof, it's HVAC, it's electrical, it's plumbing, it's siding, it's flooring. Uh, maybe there's some foundation work. It's probably 20000 Yeah, No, you need to have details on exactly what it's going to be. And you got to have the other costs included, too, to prove that you know what you're doing. Um, like I said, insurance, maintenance, selling costs, if you have to pay real estate agents, title insurance, if there's attorney's fees in your state, um, all kinds of things you need to account for. And a lot of these investors who do these kind of deals are in real estate investors themselves. They've bought rentals, they've bought flips before, so they know if you know your, what you're talking about. So if you really want to get into flipping houses, you don't have a lot of money, um, partnering with an investor may, may be the way to get into it, but realize you've got to know your stuff inside and out. And I've had a number of people come to me and ask to be partners or me to mentor them. And their thing is, hey, I need a mentor. Will you do it? No, I'm sorry. Um, I'm very busy. I have a lot going on. And it's another job for me to take on someone else and figure out what they're good at and what they can help me with. If you want to have someone mentor you, you better figure out what you're good at and how you can help them before you approach them. If you're good at websites, if you're good at sales, if you're good at negotiating, bring to the table what you're good at, what you can help them in their business with. Don't just go asking for them to teach you everything and make your life wonderful without helping them in return. Um, they still might not do it, they still might not have time, but that gives you a better shot of getting into the business. Um, now, going back to if you have absolutely no money, you can't afford a book, you can't afford anything, it doesn't hurt to go try and work for somebody in the real estate industry. Um, you can work in a real estate office. You can work for a real estate investor. You can go to real estate investor meetups. Just try and find something you can do where you're mucky, making money in the industry so you're learning at the same time while you have a job. And again, you have to go to the same, you know, preparation to get that job as you would if you're looking for a partner. You can't just go up to someone and, hey, give me a job. I'll do anything you want. That doesn't help anybody out. They don't want to spend hours or weeks figuring out what you can do, what you're good at. You've got to figure out what you're good at, what you have experience in, and how you can help those people. Then you can kind of get your foot in the door. You'll show you've done some work. You've prepared. You're not just hoping someone will hold your hand and do everything for you. All right, so that's all I've got. I know this is not the most positive, uplifting, uplifting video for people looking to get into real estate, but you have to face reality sometimes. It's not going to be easy. If you have no money at all, it's going to be really, really hard. If you have even a little bit of money, it's still going to be really hard. Even if you have a lot of money and can buy houses for cash, it's still hard to flip houses. It's still hard to wholesale. It's not impossible. A lot of people make really good money at it. I know a lot of wholesalers, a lot of flippers who do amazing but it's taken them many years. It's taken them a lot of trial and error. A lot of them have failed miserably on projects before, but then come back and kept going. So just realize it's not easy. Um, the radio commercials, the TV commercials, the Facebook ads can be extremely misleading on how easy they make it sound. Um, they're trying to sell coaching programs, not help people most of the time. I'm not saying all of them are bad. There's still some really good ones out there, but some of their marketing can be misleading. And just realize it's gonna be hard work. There's going to be time and there's going to be money that you need to invest in order to make it become a successful business. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, investformore.com has a ton more information on wholesaling, real estate agents, um, investing, rentals, flipping, all of that great stuff. And um, please leave comments below. I'll help out as much as I can. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.